Hi, I'm Rayleigh Saxton. I'm a balanced body educator located in Sacramento, California. Today we're going to be using the tower with some long springs to practice some mechanics for pushing or throwing. We will utilize the springs to help practice some weight transfer and some force transfer from the lower body to the upper body. And so let's get started. All right, we're here with Calvin, and Calvin's going to go through our functional pushing and throwing sequence. So I'm gonna have you step up onto the tower, Calvin. He'll be using two long yellow springs with the handles. I'm gonna have you take them and bring them up, kind of up to about the shoulder height. I'm gonna have Calvin step out so he's got tension on the springs there. And he's in a slight forward lean, meaning he's got a little bit of dorsiflexion at the ankles, and he's somewhat like he's leaning into the wind of the springs behind him. Then I'm gonna have him just start with some symmetry. I want you to just to push both arms out in front of you and then bringing them back. So just starting working two sides together before we go to some single-sided work. And feeling how the springs push you into that resistance and how it responds into your front body as you press into the resistance of that spring. Great. Now I'm gonna ask Calvin to take it to just a single arm, one at a time, just pushing one arm out in a, in a reciprocal motion. He'll bring that back and then bring the other one out. Good. So going from a double-sided work to a single-sided work. Slightly transfers the force differently through the body. Good. Now we'll add on with that. So with the arm that's punching forward, I'd like you to step the opposite foot forward at the same time. Good, and then stepping that back. And you'll switch and do the other arm, stepping forward with that leg. So we're practicing now some weight transfer or some forces transferring in the body. Good, let's do one more on the left. Great. And now we're going to take it into more of a functional throwing or pushing over, um, overhead position. So I'll have Calvin drop the left spring and he's going to stand with his feet in a staggered position, starting with the handle right up by his shoulder as if he's holding a ball that he's going to be throwing. You're gonna transfer your weight, Calvin, from your back foot into your front foot as you push through. So we're learning that loading response of going from the lower body through the pelvis and torso and moving that work up into the upper body. Really utilizing that lower body to help get you a little more power and acceleration. Great, and we'll do one more on this side, then we will take it to the other side to see if it's any different, because most people have one side that's a little stronger for throwing than the other. So go ahead and switch. You'll stagger that left foot back, right foot forward. So I'm gonna have Calvin transfer that weight from that left hip into the right foot. Good. And you may or may not notice, he's got a little more instability through that left hip, so it's a little harder for him when he starts that force transfer, transferring from that back foot into the front foot. Very good. He may improve his mechanics as he goes through this. Good. So really ground through that left foot to begin, and then push away from the floor. There you go, into that right leg. Let's do that one more time. Feel that grounding through that left foot, almost like a little bit of a squat to begin, and then transferring through. Nice work. So there's a great functional sequence for you to try for practicing some throwing and pushing mechanics.